Kiribati, a low-lying island nation in the Pacific, is looking into several options to address climate change impacts, including a $2 billion floating island. Relinda Jonathan reports. A $2 billion floating island is being explored in Kiribati as a possible option to save the island nation from the impacts of climate change. Been talking to the Japanese and they were talking about a, um, a floating island that's worth $2 billion. It will accommodate something like 30,000 people for the next 100 years. But we are looking at all of these options. I had the visit from uh, the, one of the largest corporations in Japan who are interested in doing this. Um, something like um, an oil rig, okay? But it's just be a floating city. With a large population of about 100,000 people, it is believed that the landmass of 800 square kilometers made of coral atolls would not be able to sustain the people of Kiribati if projected climate change trends continues. And the climate change and the response to climate change is not um, something that you do this and not the other. They're not mutually exclusive. And I think it reflects perhaps the focus that different countries are giving to the different uh, responses. Uh, we in Kiribati are acknowledging the reality that uh, the land mass, um, based on the scenarios projected, is our land area will be reduced. Our water, underground water, will be, uh, uh, it's going to be contaminated with the rising seas. And so the ability of the land, the islands as they are, to sustain the current level of, of population that we have will be reduced. Those are the realities. Zimizu Corporation, a large Japanese construction company, has been working with Kiribati to come up with the models and concepts for this proposed floating island. They've been looking at concepts, they've had models, I've seen the models, but they, are, they, they continue to develop the, the concept. Uh, they came to visit Kiribati uh, just earlier this year to, to see if it was a viable option. There is no funding for the proposed floating island project yet, and there is no time frame. But at the meantime, Kiribati is looking into several options to address climate change and its impacts. We've already put together a framework, uh, adaptation framework uh, to uh, climate change. And it involves a number of strategies, uh, some of which include relocation, but not exclusively. We're not talking about um, migrating in mass, because that is not, that is an impossibility. We've got a, over 100,000 people. And there's no way that any country or that all of these people will be able to migrate. But we are acknowledging the reality that the land will not be able to sustain the level of population that it currently does. President Tong noted that although the Pacific is vulnerable to climate change, the level of vulnerability for each country is different. Relinda Jonathan, OTV News.